beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is another Foundation Friday. And today's special guest is Selena Gomez. Thanks for coming on the show, girl. Okay, she's not really here, but I do have her entire makeup collection called Rare Beauty. Another gorgeous PR box arrived on my doorstep. I don't even know how I got put on this PR list, but I'm so grateful. But I'm really trying not to be a box hoarder. So I threw away the box. So if you saw it on my Instagram story, you guys already know, but it was it was quite beautiful. It also had drawers and shelves and it was just amazing. So Selena personally sent me this box. She was like, Bianca needs it. And she texted me and none of this is true. But let me go ahead and just read you this personalized letter that she wrote me, just me, like no one else got this message. I'm so excited to introduce to you Rare Beauty. I created this brand to help break down the unrealistic standards of perfection that exist in the beauty world today. The Rare Beauty community is full of unique voices, lives, and stories. I strongly believe that each of us is not meant to look like everyone else. And that's what makes you rare. Whether you are putting on a full face or just want to play around and feel creative or wear barely any makeup at all, this is makeup made to feel good in without hiding what makes you unique. Love always, Selena. What a beautiful message. It also states that their goal is to raise $100 million over the next 10 years to help increase access to mental health services with a focus on underserved communities. So 1% of annual rare beauty sales will go directly to the Rare Impact Fund. That's awesome. So not only will her makeup make you look and feel beautiful, it's also gonna be going to a really good cause to help with mental health services. Something that we all need, especially maybe after this global pandemic. So we're gonna be going through everything that she sent me. The foundation, the concealers, the mist, the eyeliner, the brow pencils, and highlight, the blush. And I got a bunch of lip colors. Spoiler alert, what you're looking at right now is my full rare beauty face. I hope you like what you see so you will keep watching. I'm gonna show you everything that they sent me. I did put it in a Mina bag because I threw away the box, but we got a lot of things to cover. So let's go ahead and knock down one of those unrealistic beauty perfection standards walls now with my very imperfect bare face. Let's get started starting off on a clean face. I just put on some vitamin C serum. So let's go ahead and turn to the primer page to learn a little bit about this primer. It says it's a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. And it does have a slight shimmer to it. Wow. It does give you like an illuminating glow. So even if you just wore it on its own, it kind of gives you that shine. Now, because I'm an oily skin girl, I usually run very fast away from anything that can create like more of a shine. I am getting more into the glowy things as my skin does continue to get clearer. But um, yeah, this is an interesting shimmer glow. Side note, I am filming on a new camera. I got the Canon 90D. So this camera is like extra ultra HD. So I feel like it's just showing every single pore on my face. Yeah, I probably didn't need to get this camera right before I go back to Foundation Fridays. So Rare Beauty sent me two different foundation shades to try. They did a very good job at matching me. They sent me 350C and 340C. So I'm gonna show you both since I have them. So here is color one, 350C, not bad, loving the coverage, and here is 340C. Now they both have a C for cool, but I feel like this top one is a little bit more cool, this one's a little bit more warm. So I've been wearing the 340C, so that's what I'm gonna continue to wear today. And as summer goes on and I do get a little bit darker, I probably can even bump up to this one. Now for sanitation purposes, it's not the best to apply something to your skin and then apply it back into your bottle. So if you want, you could just take your color and then apply it to a beauty blender or whatever you're gonna use and then continue on with the rest of your face. Look at that coverage though. Woo! Yes, I love it. Love, love, love the coverage. And it doesn't feel heavy either. So it's a lightweight formula, but still giving me really good coverage. And I think this is a perfect match 
for my skin tone. So this is called the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. It's a foundation elixir that feels barely there, true, while building coverage, true, and boosting your natural glow, also true. Wow, look at that side-by-side -side difference. I have a very uneven skin tone and I also have hyperpigmentation, so I love being able just to see like a full, solid color, giving me amazing coverage. Like even under the eyes, before I even put concealer, I'm getting some great coverage there too. Now I'll continue with the rest of my face. So I don't look as crazy. I know it's better to apply the foundation to a beauty sponge instead of your skin, but I just do love this brush. Like, it just makes it feel like I'm just painting all the flaws away. Oh, I do think that there is a rare beauty sponge. I should go find it. So there's the foundation. Love how it looks thus far. Really happy with the color. A very cool undertone. Now I did find the beauty sponge. It has a weird kind of cheese consistency, <laughs> but I'm gonna use it for my concealer. So the concealer, comes in a little bottle like this. As you can see, I've been using it a lot lately. And this is the color 330 Neutral. It has a wide applicator and it glides on so easy. A very great full coverage, creamy consistency. So I always like to go a little lighter with the concealer to brighten the under eyes because I have very dark circles under my eyes that I was just born with. And then I also put some up here on the eyes. Now I'll grab this interesting little sponge to blend. I'm not sure how I feel about the sponge. I mean, I guess it's getting the job done. It's just a different consistency from like a beauty blender. It's more airy and not as squishy. I guess it's more like an actual sponge, more than like the texture of a normal beauty sponge. But it blended it out fine, so. And I just don't know how I feel about white beauty blenders because now your foundation will just ruin it. And it definitely reminds you that you have to wash it. <laughs> Let me give you guys some price points. So the concealer is $19, the foundation is $29, and the primer is $26. So, so far you're looking at a $74 face. So I haven't made a loose setting powder yet, at least not that I have. So I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier to set this. Now I'm just gonna set my whole face with the Full Spectrum CoverGirl powders in the color Medium Tan, and then I'm going to do my contour with the Deep Cool One. Oh, I just feel like setting powders, translucent powders, are just every oily skin girl's best friend. Now for the brows, I have the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony in the color Deep Brown. Little double-edged sword, so it has a gel on this side and then the pencil on this side. I'm not really good with gels. I mean, I'll do a little bit just to show you. Oh, see, yeah, it's very tinted. And I think when I tried it, my brows were just like too dark. So I'll just put a little bit on here. But now I'll go back to the pencil. That does look nice. I just haven't personally mastered the like bushy, but still pretty look yet. I thought the gel's kind of hardening, so it's giving me a weird stiff feeling that I'm not used to on my brows. <laughs> Might just be for the more advanced user. It is a very thick, tip for a brow pencil. I just threw on some eyeshadow from my Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. There's some really pretty colors in this palette. And then I also am in love with the new Too Faced Killer Liner, 36 hour waterproof eyeliner in killer black. Like it just goes on so smooth. So this is a new fave of mine. Now let me grab the Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. It's $19. A long wearing waterproof liquid eyeliner formulated with an ultra black pigments for the most dramatic definition every time. So it has a close, I don't know if it's a brush or felt tip, but let's find out. I really only can do my wing liner with my NYX brush. <sighs> let's see how this goes. Okay, not bad. So it's not a felt tip, 
it's like a firm brush that stays into a point. It goes on very easy. Whew, nicely pigmented. A little stiff. If you like felt tips, you'll like this one. The brush that I'm used to is a little bit more bendy, but it's still really nice. All right, I'll just need some practice. I kept trying to go back to fix it. Now I have this big chunk. I need to do the side over again. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I did it. Should have just left it alone. Let's try this again. Much better. So I do like this. I just have to practice with it and get used to the different type of tip. I have to be a little bit more precise to try to get that straight point, but I do love that it's already drying very matte and it is very pigmented. Now I just need some mascara and some lashes. Man, lashes do wonders. Next we have the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. I'm also really not one to use liquid blush or liquid highlight, but I have Flaunt, Transcend, and Outshine. There are three very pretty shimmery colors. So we have a gold, a pinky gold, and like a rose gold. Let's see what this flaunt one looks like. So I'm just gonna dot some on the cheeks. Ooh. And let's see what this does. Probably put too much. But we're gonna make it work. Put some on the nose. Wow. I actually like it. Another product that I just have to get used to applying. Let me just show you the three colors on my hand to compare. So here's Flaunt. This is Transcend. And this is Outshine. Three very pretty metallic colors. Now we have a lot of lip colors to choose from. So we have liquid lips, we have regular lipsticks, and then we have matte. Whew, and I only have one set of lips. It's supposed to add a hint of just kissed color. So let's open up all of them. We have Appreciate, Honor, which looks like a clear, Thankful, and Empathy. Let's do a little swatch on my arm. Ooh, they're very creamy. Appreciate, Honor, it's clear, Thankful. Ooh, I'm loving how these feel. And Empathy. Wow, they glide on so easy. So I'm gonna apply the clear one first. So Honor is like a really pretty fancy chapstick, basically. I think I'm gonna go with Thankful. I love this one. So pretty for everyday natural dewy lip balm with color. Oh, correction, these were not the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. That is apparently somewhere else, <laughs> I gotta find it. Um, but these were the Positive Light Liquid Luminizers. That makes more sense, because this is definitely a highlight. And this is available in eight different shades. Oh, these are blushes. I definitely thought they were more lip colors. So these are the blushes. Another liquid blush in very pretty pop and bright colors. Let's swatch them all. Joy, wow, that's bright. Lucky, oh my goodness, a blush? Grace and love. Ooh, love's pretty. Can we use these blushes as lip colors? I feel like we probably can. So out of these colors, I'm gonna add a little bit of love. So I'm gonna be very light with these because these are super pigmented. So I'm just gonna add like, I'm so scared. Just a little dot. Still bright. Probably could have done without it. It's nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna use the smallest little amount. And this can just last you forever. This blush will last you for yourself, your kids, and your grandkids. I'm just really not used to liquid blush. These are interesting. Not sure how I feel about those. I think I'd rather stick to my powders. We have the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Creams. These are $20 each. It's a whipped lip cream that delivers a comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish up to 12 shades. I don't have all 12 shades, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have half of the collection here. Let's see which one I want to apply. 
So I have motivate, 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 motivate. Ascend. Ooh, that's pretty. Inspire. Strengthen. Fearless. That's a pretty purpley mauve. And Brave. I really like these like affirmation type names. So here are the colors on my skin tone. I think I'm gonna go with Brave. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So now I'm gonna finish off my face with this setting spray. Mmm, smells refreshing. And there you have it, a full rare beauty face. But let's go ahead and keep this old school Bianca Foundation Friday status, where I'm gonna wear this for the majority or all day, then I'll come back at the end of the day to show you how this works on my oily skin. I will say that my skin has gotten a lot better since those Foundation Fridays. My oil is a little bit more under control, and I have been using this foundation for a while and I've been pretty happy with it. But let me go ahead and really pay attention and see how this looks at the end of the day. I really wanna try this because Rare Beauty also has this little compact right here that comes with a powder infused little powder puff and it comes with its own blotting sheets. You guys know how many blotting sheets I went through back in my Foundation Friday days. So I wanna see how these work as well. So I'll come back to blot. Now all I have to do now is finish my hair. Much better. So at this point, it has been a couple hours of me doing my hair and filming this hair look for my next video coming soon, but I am already a slight shiny, just a little bit. So let's just go ahead and try it now and see how this little powder puff works. So apparently the powder is already on the inside. Let's try it. Oh, much better. Let's try to see if you could see the powder. Oh, there it is. So there definitely is powder on the inside, which is kind of cool. Very nice. I like it. So right now it is currently 417. So I'll come back even later in the day and we'll try the final product of the Rare Beauty collection, the blotting sheets. Wow, so um, it's been so long since I've done a foundation Friday that I uh, forgot to come back. Put on my pajamas, was getting real comfortable, and went, oh, I have to show the ending of my Foundation Friday video. But here we are, more comfortable than earlier, to show you how my makeup looks now that it is 9.30 p.m. So it's been about five and a half hours, and this is where we are. So the lipstick is like gone. It's not a super long wearing matte lipstick. I loved how it looked, but I did eat and it's basically gone. The liner is kind of smudging. I don't know if that's from me rubbing it because I was ready to go to bed. Um, it also could be the pencil, but not really the liquid liner because that seems like it's pretty intact. I did take off my lashes, so sorry about that. I told you I was getting comfortable. But let's go ahead and blot now with the Rare Beauty Blotting Sheets. Blot and Glow blotting sheets. There's a hundred in here, that's cool. Oh, that's cute. So here's one sheet, it's actually pretty long. Probably longer than like the normal blotting sheets that I get. And let's see how we look. So before, it kind of just feels like parchment paper. Before, after, all right. I haven't even purchased blotting sheets in so long. So here's the oil from my sheet. I do see a little bit of brown on here, so it kind of transferred the foundation. I definitely look a lot more matte now, but this was a lot of oil. But I'm an oily girl. I think it looks pretty good. It honestly looks a lot better in person than it is right now on camera under all these bright lights in like my new HD camera, but I'm happy with it. By the way, here are all of the 48 shades available. We definitely got a lot of pale options. I do wish that there was more darker colors to choose from, but there are the 48 shades. It does look really good. I'm happy with it. I have been using it for a while ever since I got it, and that does mean a lot for me to continue to reach for it 
after I try it the first time when I have a lot of other options to choose from. So it's not the most mattifying long wear foundation, but this would be a foundation that I grabbed just for like a day-to-day -day, Monday through Friday type of look. So my overall final concluding thoughts on the Rare Beauty collection that I received. I probably would pass on the sponge and the brow pencil, just not really for me. The liquid highlighters and the liquid blushes do work great, very pigmented. I personally am just not one to really use liquid for these types of items, so it's more of a me thing. I gotta practice using them. The lip colors are cool. These are kind of bright for me. I, I really would probably only wear these three. I loved how this one looked on me today. It just didn't last all day long, like when it came to eating. It never really felt dry though. Let me know if you're interested in trying any of these rare beauty products, which ones really stuck out to you. These are all available exclusively at Sephora and on the Rare Beauty website. Speaking of Sephora, I recently applied to join the Sephora Squad, which is a year-long partnership with Sephora. So I already applied, but in order to better my chances of getting in, I need some help from you. So I'm going to put a link in the description box. If you click that link, you can write a little testimonial letting Sephora know why you think I would be a great addition to the Sephora squad. Just let them know why you enjoy my videos, why you trust my opinion, whatever you want to say, and it could really help my chances. So thank you so much to everyone that's already wrote me something. Your messages have been amazing. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you enjoy my videos, make sure you come back again on Sunday for another video. I'm trying to post two videos a week. You're welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.